You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, we're talking about cosmetic dentistry and how small improvements to your smile can literally change your life, according to my first guest. With us, we have San Diego's cosmetic dentist, Dr. McDonald. Dr. McDonald, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good. Now, before we get into today's topic, for people that don't know you, mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about your practice, who's your typical patient, and uh, what are the different services that you offer? We have a family practice in Escondido, California. I can't really say we have a typical patient, but a majority of our patients are cosmetic cases. We do treat all ages, from the very young to the very old. As a matter of fact, the oldest patient I had that I did Invisalign on, we started the case when she was 94. <laughs> Is that right? 94 year olds 94. are coming in? <laughs> and she says, you know, she's always wanted straight teeth and she wanted straight teeth and she did it. And her fingers had arthritis. So she mm -hmm. had crochet hooks that she used to use to remove the Invisalign aligners. And bless her heart, she did it. And her teeth look great. So, so they're, and it, so Invisalign, 90 year olds, 80 year olds? Because 80 is young in San Diego, right? It certainly is. We live in a state where everybody takes great care of themselves and a great smile goes with the rest of your body. You say the smile's pretty important. So today's show, it's not just about veneers. You say small improvements can change a lot. Uh, how important is a smile? I mean, you're a dentist. Of course you think it's important. Well, you know, Randy, you have a nice smile. And, <laughs> and, if, so <laughs> and if you didn't have a nice smile, you probably would not be as comfortable sitting up here in front of a camera. So I really think a smile is everything. People that are uncomfortable with their smile tend to not smile. Okay. And it doesn't bring out the natural happiness in them. And people might think they're grumpy when they're, they're really just a bubbly person, but they just can't reveal that because they're trying to hide that imperfection. Whether it's conscious or subconscious, people tend to not smile when they're not happy with their smile. Do you see it when you're out and about? Oh, like I, you could spot they're hiding uh, something? I definitely could spot. It's even the way they hold their lips. If they have an imperfect side, they have learned how to control their lip to do a crooked smile so they don't show something that they're not happy about. So if you're interviewing for a job, let's say it's two different people, one is smiling and one person is not smiling. If they have the same CV, the same resume, the person that's smiling is probably gonna get the job because they seem more right confident. That. They seem like they are just confident. So a smile can give you charisma. When you're smiling at people, it seems like the whole world is smiling back at you. It's an international language. If you don't speak a language, you smile. And that shows someone that you're happy or you like what they're doing. Surveys show that nine out of 10 people are presumed to be more attractive when they have a nice smile and they actually get the better jobs. They even found that CEOs of big companies can rev up the stock prices. If with, with their smile. With their smile. <laughs> they, there was really? actually a study done, and it was in the paper just a few weeks ago, about CEOs of the major companies having a nice smile and driving the stock prices of that company up. Um, so a smile is important. And some of what we see in our practice is someone comes in and they tell me um, a little something that they're not happy about. And then when we kind of get into it and, and do a smile mock-up and a smile makeover. And they're just so happy that they change everything about themselves. Next thing you know, a, a gentleman is you know, getting rid of the mustache that he had hanging halfway down his lips. Or the women, they start exercising and they, they get a new hair color and a new haircut and just everything about them changes. So after you give them whatever, yeah. whether it's veneers or Invisalign or whatever, whatever is making them change? happy, whatever is making them happy, Okay. it just brings out a whole bunch of other things that they've always wanted to do, whether it was, you know, to be more fit, to exercise more, um, to wear makeup or get a makeover or take better care of themselves. It's, it seems to start with an internal happiness. And if you can't smile, you're not going to be happy. People don't like going to the dentist. Do you hear that? I mean, do they say no offense, doctor? Um, probably at least a few times a day. Okay. I'm told how much they like me, but they don't like what I do. Do people, I mean, they're probably less fearful of a female dentist, right? They like that? Patients do tend to be a little more comfortable with female dentists. A lot of moms feel that we be perhaps a little more compassionate towards their children. Um, sometimes men don't like other men that close to them. Because as dentists, we do tend to get into 
patient's personal space sometimes. Yeah. And I think um, some men are more comfortable not having another man. And of course, with, you know, with females, it's camaraderie there too that, you know, we get to chat and hang out while they're getting their work done. <laughs> so we, we actually get to be friends. You say you laugh with your patients. We but laugh In fact, a I lot. think you said that... <laughs> that you could guarantee that one day they're, they're gonna laugh. You're gonna make them laugh before they leave your office. It's my goal. It's my goal to have a good time. Um, our patients actually comment that this is such a happy office because not only am I laughing, but all of our team is laughing because we do something really fun. And what's fun about what we do, not only <laughs> we make great smiles, but we make it fun for our patients and we make it painless. And my goal always is to take that fear away and change what people think about dentistry because we've come a long way and dentistry no longer has to be painful and people really don't have to be fearful. I hear horror stories all the time. You said you're the best, or I'm paraphrasing, but like that you really feel like you're good at numbing people. I'm really good at so numbing that might, people. I mean, isn't everybody good at doing that? Um, you know, I can't say. Um, that everybody is good but at that. But the patients tell you you're better than... Patients any. tell me that that was absolutely the most painless injection they've had just because I think that comes from my fear of needles. And my patients laugh at that. They're like, what? You're afraid of needles? I really am afraid of needles. Um, the one part of my job that I don't like is numbing my patients. Okay. And I'm always happy to get that over with. But I know that I do it as painless as the technology in today's modern dentistry allows. We use a single tooth anesthesia, computer delivered technology. And most of my little patients that have no preconceived notions of getting you an injection. You mean young patients yeah, or kids? Okay. The kids that don't know that they're gonna come and they're gonna get numb and they're gonna get an injection. They don't even know that we did it. Oh really, okay. They really are like, oh, I feel funny. What did you do? They don't know what happened. But adults, they come in with a preconceived notion. But even as adults, they're like, that was really easy. And I think once they've gotten past that initial time that they've gotten numb, all their fears go away. I've had patients that come in and they want to be sedated. And by the second appointment, they're like, you know what? I don't think I need that. That's a hassle getting a ride and all that. I don't think I need that. I think I'm going to be fine. Okay. So that's really what I strive for, and that, that makes my day. Now, and we're talk, for people just tuning in, we're talking about smile makeovers and how small improvements, I mean, this could be affordable, is what you're saying. Oh, absolutely. How's it doesn't have to be a full mouth reconstruction. It could just be a single little chip that makes them uncomfortable. It could be a pointy canine. It could just be a little space next to a tooth that they're just self-conscious about. We could just do some bonding, some whitening, um, a little bit of straightening with Invisalign, um, a couple of veneers, maybe replacing a crown that they're uncomfortable about that has a black line that they feel like in pictures or in their wedding pictures, they have to tilt a certain way to hide that. It could really be a, a small thing with big improvements. Cosmetic dentistry does not mean a full mouth reconstruction. In my opinion, everything we do should be cosmetic. So at the top of the show, we said you are San Diego's cosmetic dentist, but you do just about everything, is that right? That is right. Everything we do is cosmetic. Okay. So cosmetic dentistry is a, is a big name for a wide range of what we can do. Um, someone that's in their you know, 40s or 50s may begin to show signs of wear on the edges of their teeth, and that may make them uncomfortable. So we can just do a little bit of recontouring or a little bit of bonding to get their teeth to the length that, that it used to be. It could just be um, one veneer. It could be a space that they have in between their two front teeth that we can even do bonding or we can do some veneers. Uh, we can do all porcelain crowns. We can, um, we can do same day teeth for crowns, You're big on the veneers. same day. You say things so, are same day. Absolutely the same day. You can walk in with a dream smile and walk out with it the same day because Randy, we're in the age of instant gratification. Okay. People. So you can walk in with bad teeth uh -huh. and walk out with beautiful teeth. You absolutely can. On the can. same day? On the same day. You can do that. You can even, if you have teeth that are terminal, meaning you know, you've been fighting them all your life, getting them filled, getting them refilled, getting them crowned, getting them root canal. You know, some people get, get tired of that. And we can do implants and same day teeth. It's amazing. Patients walk out with a beautiful smile that they've always dreamed of 
in the same day. Of course, there's some pre-workup. You can't walk in and say, oh, you have I want this. to get molds this. of their teeth or whatever. Well, we, yeah, we start with, you know, photographs, some, uh, some records, some molds with a wax up of their dream smile um, based on the shape of their teeth, yeah. on the shape of their lips. We do all of that ahead of time. One of the reasons we can do it in the same day is because we have the Ceric Omnicam technology. We can actually make our crowns in the office while you watch a movie, literally. And it's not that long of an appointment. Uh, you don't have to have a temporary that keeps coming off and it's inconvenient. You don't have to come back two weeks later and get numb all over again. Um, or something doesn't fit and we have to send it back to the lab. We have control of everything. So how it's normally done mm -hmm. is they have the teeth, they send it to a lab to That's make a right. crown. You just do it right there. We you do it right there. Does it right there. Okay. No temporary, no second appointment. Does it look good? No, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm personally in love with the Ceric Omnicam. Um, our patients are amazed. It's actually really entertaining for them to watch the is process. Right? Most people take their headphones off and turn to see what it is that I'm doing to design their teeth, and they get involved in it. And that's kind of fun. And we custom stain and custom glaze the crowns right there on site. So if there's something we don't like, maybe it was a little light, a little dark, we can correct it right then and there so they walk out with their crowns. People are busy these days. They don't want to come back. They don't have time to come see us. So when they do, they just want it done. And we can do smile makeovers in the same manner with the Ceric Omnicam. After the initial workup, we can um, bring the patient in, do the preparations, and we hire a lab technician that's our Sarek amazing specialist, and he- So your lab guy that makes these teeth look real, right? And you know I know a lot of dentists. I could go anywhere. I, we use the same guy for my son, my 23-year-old son's yeah. teeth. We talked about that. And they look real. We talked about that, Eddie Corrales. And what Eddie does that's different is not only do we mill the teeth right there on site, he actually cuts them back. And what does that mean? He actually takes away some of the porcelain and starts putting in with brushes his artistic talent of making the line angles and the edges of the teeth just the way nature intended them to be. And then he rebakes them right there on site. So that's what's different about doing the cosmetic cases in the front of the mouth is that we actually are not happy even with what comes out. We go a step further and add porcelain with hand, the old fashioned way, just to make those perfections at the edge of the teeth and at the line angles of the teeth, the way the light reflects it so that they look natural. So that when you are walking down the street, you can't say, <laughs> oh, that, that, that person's got veneers. Well, it you seems know? like a lot of these housewives shows, those yeah. teeth are big. <laughs> uh, and I know you, don't, you want to be positive, but you say that's in my green room, that that's in the hands of the dentist, that maybe they didn't have an artistic eye. Yeah, the, the teeth should be in harmony with your face, the shape of your face, the shape of your lips, um, how much space you have when you smile on the sides of your teeth. So if you are putting big teeth in a small mouth, it's not gonna look right. So we have many patients that we ask them, bring us a smile that you like. And you know, they'll bring in Angelina Jolie and say, well, I want that. Well, Like celebrities, they bring in yeah, celebrity photos. Yeah, and you know, sometimes we have to have the conversation. You know, some people can have that if they have Angelina Jolie's lips and shape of the face. Okay. But some people can't. So we, we have that conversation way before we start the case. So we, be, we begin with the end in mind. Could you see it like if a patient goes to you and maybe they have low confidence, they're saying, I don't know, my teeth are pretty bad. Do you see the end result? Like what it's going to look like with I the veneers do. on? I absolutely do. you get do. excited? I do get excited and, and my patients sense that. So if they have a gummy smile, if they have short teeth or if they have gaps in between their teeth or gaps where their cheeks should have teeth inside, I can see, I can see that right away. So it, it is definitely an artistic eye and it's mixed with science because what I'm envisioning has to work in their bite and with their jaw joint. Okay. So all of that has to come together. So when, when you use a term, and I'm gonna back up for a moment, instant orthodontics, what does that mean? Instant orthodontics means orthodontia without orthodontia, that we can actually fix crooked teeth and gaps with porcelain crowns or veneers or okay. bonding or a combination thereof to give you that natural, beautiful straight teeth the same day. 
All right. without getting the braces. So that's what instant orthodontics means. That means orthodontics without ortho orthodontics. So bottom teeth. Bottom teeth. As we, Seems as, to, yeah. yeah. As we age, they seem to just mine shift as well. Yeah. That happens to a lot of people. As we age, the teeth kind of start getting crooked. They seem to start to run into each other. And the sooner we intervene, the better. So a lot of people that had braces and didn't wear their retainers, they find that over the years, the teeth are just kind of starting to walk back to where they used to be. And as adults, sometimes they don't want to go back to orthodontia, so we can fix that in most instances with um, porcelain crowns or veneers or bonding or a combination of. Now, again. nowadays, do people come in saying, I want veneers, when, like you said, you'd, in many cases, you have to slow them down and you want Invisalign. <laughs> Tell me Some, about that. Sometimes, you know, with the advent of internet, you know, it's great because patients are educated. And I love that because they know about porcelain crowns and they know about porcelain veneers. So I don't have to explain all of that. But sometimes we do have to slow them down and say, you know, it would be best if we do some Invisalign and, you know, broaden your arch first and then give you the smile and let me show you what this would look like and kind of walk them through it. And people are, oh yeah, the, well, that makes sense. Okay, what do I have to do to do that? And they understand because today's consumer is educated and it's to everyone's advantage. So who's actually coming in like for the, as you say, a smile makeover? It's really all walks of people, but it tends to be the people that are in the higher positions, like a CEO of a company or um, someone that wants a job. Because no matter what we do, how much we go to the dentist, or how much we brush and how much we floss, our teeth start to show signs of our aging. They wear down. So it's almost inevitable if you want a perfect smile that you're going to get veneers So if you want to look your point. best. If you want to look your best, at some point, you may want porcelain crowns or veneers because okay. our teeth do wear as we age. Think about how much we use our teeth. Yeah. All day long, even for speaking. We, you know, we sometimes use them as tools, which we shouldn't, but, you know, we chew with them, we bite with them. It's an all-day event. Even at nighttime, our poor teeth don't have a rest. Most people tend to grind their teeth in their sleep and wear them down. We take the stresses of life out on our teeth. So at some point, teeth wear, and people want that perfect smile. So it could really be anyone. Sometimes it's just someone that wants self-improvement. They feel better about having their smile fixed to the way they finally envision themselves to look. Um, other instances are a big event coming up, such as a wedding. You know, they've always known that they've been apprehensive of their smile and they want to be comfortable, um, or they're um, going on a special trip, um, or they're interviewing for a new job. So most of what you do is speed, right? I mean, you want to do things quickly because you do this like a same day concept. So if somebody's getting married over the weekend, mm -hmm. right, on a Monday, they could go to you and they could have their full mouth, full of beautiful teeth that look natural for their wedding. Absolutely. Is that true? <laughs> that really is true. And it's really gratifying to be able to do that and improve someone's life and self-confidence like that. So people come from all walks of life. You know, if they're getting married, they want a new smile. If they've been divorced and they're out on the market again, they want a new smile. If they have an important job interview coming up, they want a new smile. Um, there's just so many different reasons. Or they just want to feel better about themselves. Yeah. You know, they just um, lost a whole bunch of weight and they've been working out and they, they want to f look their best. They want a new smile. So it's really all So I guess the way you're doing it is not the way it's always done. No, absolutely not. It's, I think the this, Cerec this Omnicam has definitely brought that home for the dentist That's that the machine that makes it. the teeth. That's the machine that makes okay. the teeth. Um, that's what's really changed dentistry to the same day dentistry. You know, I find that um, most people will undergo plastic surgery. You know, they'll, they'll do a facelift. They'll do all kinds of painful stuff. You know, they'll go under general anesthesia and they're in pain for weeks and they can't leave the house. But with dentistry, it's amazing. You can literally walk in and walk out with a brand new beautiful smile that changes your whole face. It can actually give your lips support. It can give your cheeks support. It can change the way your face looks, not only because you're smiling more, but it can literally change the shape of your face in the same day without general anesthesia or medical complications or the knife. You said when it's all done and they look in the mirror that everybody gets choked up sometimes. They do. Not sometimes, I would say almost all the time. Some men try and hold it back, but... What's that like? 
It's probably why I love dentistry okay. so much. That's my favorite moment when I have actually impacted someone's life. Because let's face it, doing a filling or a crown on the back tooth doesn't change anyone's life. They're not that excited about that. What they're excited about is a new smile. So when you try the veneers in for the first time and we give them that mirror and they take a look and they start getting the quiver of the lip and I see a little tear in their <laughs> eye, that's probably the most fun I ever have. You get choked up too. I get choked you up You said too. you're a mess sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. That's what you said. <laughs> sometimes I am a mess. Sometimes I cry before they do because I can just see that they're gonna love it. So that's really fun. My assistant's usually crying too. It's just, it's an emotional moment because it's what we live for. It's what I continue to strive for. It's what I do a lot of continuing education in because I want to be the best at it. You know, on the telephone on our pre-production meeting, you said something. I said, what makes you different or, you know, what's your competitive advantage? And, you know, people say a lot of things to me. But you said, I think it's because, and I'm paraphrasing, but that I care or that it's my compassion. Elaborate on that. I think it's more than compassion. It's more like my empathy. Because I have been there and I have done that. As I mentioned before, I feel like I've lived in the dental chair since the age of seven. Um, I get it. I used to have chipped and crooked teeth because I ground my teeth for years and years. I'm a type A stressed person. So when my, per my teeth got done, personally, when I got my crowns and veneers, I really felt like a changed person. I was already in the dental field, but I smiled so much more. And people around me noticed. They're like, oh, you know, you're smiling so much more. And I was like, yeah, I love my smile. <laughs> and I can, I can see did you get how compliments? it can change. I did get compliments. You still get compliments? I still nice get smile. compliments. Thank you. But I find that that empathy is what sets me apart because I get it. I get what it's like not to be perfectly happy with your smile. And I did something about it. And I want to help other people do the same thing. So there's, would you say, thousands of people in San Diego that hate their smile? I mean, is it that common? It's, it's extremely common. You know, when you poke and prod into people and get them talking is when they start opening up to you. Yeah, by the way, you know, I don't, I don't like this or this could be better. And again, it's about small changes. It doesn't have to be a full case of crowns and veneers. It could just be something so small that has a big effect and a big change. Like because even whitening, it doesn't bother. Even say. whitening. How much coffee, wine, chocolate, blueberries, chocolate, cake? I mean, we use our teeth all day long. We stain them all day long. And whitening alone can have a huge effect on a patient's smile. So you can take a 40-year-old and just simply whiten their teeth, and it could take years off of their smile. It could be something very simple. It doesn't have to be a huge cosmetic case. You know, when I see people, you know, we talked on the phone, but when I see people now since our conversation, when they have white teeth, it does. It makes you look healthier. It does. It makes you look like you take good care of yes, yourself. People, yes. unfortunately, make judgments based on your smile. If you are fit and um, you look healthy and all of a sudden you smile and your teeth are brown, chipped, and crooked, people make judgments about you, right or wrong. Yeah, Subconsciously, yeah. people make judgments about you. If you take twins, one has a nice smile and one doesn't. Same personality, same look, same outer exterior. The twin with the nice teeth that smiles will get that job. Okay. There is no question about it. It will make you more it. successful. It will make you more successful because you have to put out there that you're a happy person. People want to be about happy people. So smile makeovers in one day. In one day. And just small things, big things. You could do like all the teeth. Even if you're going to lose all your teeth, even if your teeth have gone to the stage where you're going to lose them, after we've done all the preoperative workup, you can get your implants and your teeth the same day. You can literally go to sleep and wake up with a smile you've always dreamed of the same day. I know that sounds too good to be true. It does. But, but, but it really is true. How soon can they eat? They can eat as soon as they're not numb enough to bite the lips. It's okay. that soon. They can just go on about their life like they did before, but with a brand new smile. So in San Diego, I've noticed that women take great care of themselves. We're mostly fit, we're tan, you know, the hair is always done, they have the nice car, the Louis Vuitton purse, the red bottom shoes. Yeah, you yeah. look at their smile and is 30 years older than them. I, you know, sometimes I'm not sure if it's lack of education of what they could have 
or the general fear of the dentist, of the dentist which unfortunately some people Because nobody wants to go to the dentist. Have. So you think it's their fear probably? Or it's, they just don't get it? How important I it is? I really think it's a combination of. I think for some people it's a true fear because of maybe some previous bad experiences that they've had. And for some people it's just a lack of knowledge not of what could be. They're like, oh, I wish I could have so-and-so smile. They're so lucky. Little do they know that so-and-so has some cosmetic dentistry and that they could have it too. They just perhaps don't realize that it could be for anyone. Nowadays, the most of Hollywood, you think, has veneers? Oh, I do. Like if you're over 40 and you're a celebrity and all, most of them have veneers? I I am pretty sure most of them do, but they're well done. So we shouldn't be spotting them, right? Okay. So they don't I, have to be big and bulky, etc. They, they definitely should not be big and bulky. That, should, that is not cosmetic dentistry. Cosmetic dentistry is something that fits in your mouth and in your face and into the way you speak. You have an eye for this, by the way? Absolutely. I mean, you think, are there people that don't? You know, it's like, even the hairdressers, some are good, some aren't. It's like anything else. You go to any profession. So you think you've got it? I think I've got it. I don't like to brag. But you do? I mean, do you? I don't like to brag, Randy. But do I'm you not think, going to. Do you think you're at the top of your game? I do. I make sure I'm at the top of my game. By going to all the continuing education classes? I do. I think I last year alone, I probably went eight times over the required number of continuing education. That was just in one year. All um, to do what? Just to kind of make the perfect... Everything. Smile, it's not bite. about one thing. See, dentistry is not about just porcelain crowns and porcelain veneers. It's how everything comes together. And there's probably not enough time on this show or five <laughs> more of these shows for me to go through what it is that I learned. From doing this all these years, I guess, you know, some, you know, the, the, the cliche of a smile can change your life or improve your smile, change your life. But you're a believer now because you've seen it. Oh, you absolutely. Say. There's no question about it. A smile can change your life. There's no question about it. Okay, we're out of time. Final message, somebody's watching this at home. They don't like their smile. Maybe their spouse doesn't like their smile. They're always complaining about it. What do you say to them? But they're afraid of the dentist, maybe. They're afraid. Well, I still say talk to your dentist and explore your possibilities. Or I invite them in to come and talk to me. And I will let them know all of their options. And it's a free consultation. So what do you have to lose? At least you know what's possible. Okay, good. I want to thank you coming, uh, for coming in on the show. We're going to get your husband, the oral surgeon, on the show, too. You say he doesn't want to be interviewed by me. Well, we're going to be nice to him. So thanks again. It was a, it was a pleasure thank to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I had a good time. Thanks, You've been Randy. watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.